Hey guys, Eric here from tacticalintelligence.net. Um, so in this video, I am addressing especially the guys who follow my blog or uh, subscribe to the videos. Um, I know a lot of you guys aren't too big on canning. Uh, you'd rather just store up some MREs and, in your basement and live off those, uh, you know, when the crap is a fan. But um, I'm making this video especially for you guys to, to show you that canning can be very manly. Uh, I mean, it can't get any more manly than, than canning bacon. So, um, just a little disclaimer. We're, we're going to be talking about how to home can bacon. Now, uh, you, you got to understand that bacon or canning bacon is not uh, approved by the USDA. Um, this might just mean that they haven't fully tested it and, and given a certain amount of processing time. Um, there's different opinions out there. Uh, but basically, you're doing this at your own risk. Uh, I feel comfortable in my home, you know, as for me in my home, you know, we will serve the bacon, if you will. Uh, so, this, this is up to you guys. But basically, the method that I'm going to show you, I, I feel it's a little, little safer than other methods that you might find uh, on YouTube or on other blogs. Um, and that involves pre-cooking it. In, in my opinion, I think it makes a far better end product. Uh, it doesn't stick together at the end. Uh, it cooks in looks more like bacon in the end, and, and so you'll see the process. Uh, but basically what you're going to need is of course bacon. Uh, put them in some kind of cookie sheets or, or pans like this. Um, you're going to preheat the oven to about 375 degrees, and you're going to throw the bacon in for uh, about 10 to 12 minutes. Now you don't want it fully cooked, you want it just undercooked so it's still a little pliable. The other things you're going to need obviously uh, are some Candy jars. Now, the, this is wide mouth. You'll want the wide mouth, not the narrow mouth, because you're not going to get the bacon in there. Um, canning equipment like jar tongs and uh, parchment paper. This is going to help when you're wrapping it. And finally, obviously, a, a pressure cooker. Uh, this is really important because this is going to reach those temperatures that you need uh, to process the meat at, to get rid of all the botulism spores that might be in there. So, which goes along with the theory of why people saying that bacon is unsafe to can. So if you were to throw raw bacon in into a jar, the theory is that when it reaches the temperature of 240 degrees in the pressure canner, the actual inside of the jar doesn't reach that in the center because of the, all the fat from the, from the bacon, that it acts as an insulator. Uh, whether this happens or not, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I haven't done the fully test. I know there's a lot of people out there that do can bacon, you know, basically essentially doing a raw pack method. They haven't had any issues and they've had it, they've been doing it for years. So, again, follow your own gut, you know. Um, if you feel comfortable doing it, that's fine. The method I'm going to show you with the pre-cooking, I feel it's a little safer because you are pre-cooking the meat. Um, so, let's start the process. So, again, you're just going to heat the oven to about 375 degrees. Put the bacon in there. And let it cook for about a, a good um, 15, 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. And we'll come back when it's done. All right, so let's take a look here. Uh, it's been about the right time. So this is pretty much perfect. You want it just cooked, you not cook too much. That's kind of what you're aiming for. Uh, it's still flexible, but you've got a lot of the grease and fat still off so that um, when you can, you're not having a big safety risk because of that. Okay, so what you're going to want to do next is basically just take some parchment paper. Uh, you can do it a number of ways. If you have a long enough piece, you can just make it long, one long piece. Uh, but basically the whole idea is you want to have the bacon so it's close to the top and to the side, but enough that half of it will cover half of the bacon. And you'll see why that's important in a moment. So just kind of lay those strips out. And um, I'm taking this directly from the pan. Obviously it's not as hot as it was when it came first out of the oven, but it's still flexible. Um, you want to let it cool down a little bit just so that you can handle it with your hands. So I'll just continue this process here. This is about a pound's worth of bacon right here. 
I couldn't get quite get one pound on the um, on the tray here, so actually that's probably good. So what you want to do is fold one end, and you'll see why that's important again in a moment. Um, it's going to help to keep it all in one place when you're rolling. Fold it up halfway here. And then just uh, fold the whole thing in half. And so basically the bacon is all touching the parchment paper and not each other. Okay? Flatten that down. Now what you want to do is just tightly roll it. This is actually easier if you have one, just one piece of parchment paper. You can still do it with the, the two here. Take that piece and I'll be back in a second. And you're going to throw it in to your your canning jar. Now I could actually fit fit more, and for the next one I'm going to I'm going to do do more because um, I, I need to get some other parchment paper. But you're going to fit fit that into your jar, um, close the lid, and do your normal canning process, which I'll show you in a second. All right, now that you have your, your bacon all set, I already have a few of the cans in there. Um, <clears throat> you basically put your lids on. Uh, this is some hot water just softening up the lid in here. Actually, before you do that, make sure. Just take a cloth just in case. I mean, nothing really touches, but just in case uh, you don't want to uh, compromise the seal in any way. So clean off the lid. There's the top on. And then just tighten down your your ring, just finger tight, throw it into your pressure canner and you're going to bring this up to temperature and as is or however uh, which way you use your pressure canner you're going to let it vent for a good 10 minutes. Alright so this has been venting for about 10 minutes um, again, consult your own pressure canner uh, manual. You'll know how long you need to vent, but typically it's about 10 minutes. Um, so with this specific model, you put this little 10-pound rocker on it. So for uh, baking, you want it to be at 10 pounds of pressure uh, for 90 minutes. That's an hour and a half. Uh, so if you have it, one, the one with the little dial that tells you the pressure, you're going to want to wait until it reaches that pressure of 10 pounds before you start timing it. This one is a weighted one, so once it starts rocking pretty steadily, then uh, you know it's reached the 10 pounds and I'm, I'm going to time it from there. So I'm just going to go ahead and pressure can it. Again, consult your own manual for your, the own method that you need to do for your canner. Um, but, and I'll show you just afterwards how everything turns out. All right, so uh, it's just processed for an uh, hour and a half. Take the lid off. And there you have it. All right, guys, so let's take a look at uh, how it turned out. Um, this is actually the next morning. You can probably see by the better lighting. So, I mean, it's got a really good seal on it. It's going to be a pain to hold on. Let me open it over here. You'll probably hear that. So, just to show you um, what it, the final product looks like, it actually looks like more like a commercial canned bacon that you'd buy. You have the individual bacon pieces, um, they're not all kind of squished and slimy. Pull them over. It's 
So that's great. I mean, it looks just like real bacon. You just heat it up. You can actually eat it just like this. Um, but it, it, it comes out really fantastic. I definitely recommend uh, pre-cooking it um, and then canning it.